Hey guys, it's Jana with Twiggy Post. I thought it'd be fun to show you how to take a regular image and turn it into a layered file in Photoshop. So I have a tablet mock-up right here and it's just a picture. It doesn't have any layers to it and I'm going to show you really quickly how to add a layer and then use it as a clipping mask so that way you can put your own images um, onto the screen. So right now, if you'll notice, I just have the image open. It's a flat image. There's nothing to it. What I'm going to do is go over to the rectangular marquee tool. It's over on the left hand side. I'm going to select that. And then I'm just going to draw a really rough rectangle in this place. There we go. It's not perfect and that's okay. So then I'm going to go to edit copy, edit paste. Perfect. Now I have a layer. So I'm going to select that. So if you look over on the right hand side of the screen, there's the background and then there's layer one. That's the layer that we just copied and pasted um, onto our image. From here, I'm going to go to Command T and you'll see that those little squares appear around it. Um, I'm actually going to take my mouse and rotate that picture. So this is a little weird because it's actually a cutout of the, the picture that's already there. So it can get a little confusing, but stick with me. So I just rotated this to fit the tablet. Now I'm going to do shift and I'm actually going to just kind of pull that picture in to fit on the screen. There we go. I'm going to do the other side again, holding down the shift key. And I just want it to fit within the borders of the tablet mockup. And then one more time from the bottom here, I'm going to hold shift and I'm just going to pull this up a little bit. That way it fits within that tablet mockup. Um, and then if you hold control down, you can actually do skew and just kind of pull that corner out just a little bit. That way it fits on there. So we have a pretty good uh, image right there. So from here, I'm going to do, I'm going to double click on that layer and I'm going to go over to stroke and select that because what that does is it puts that really nice line around the image that way it looks a little bit more authentic like um, like a tablet so I have that at size 3 and then I just chose kind of like a light gray you can uh, choose black you can do whatever color you want um, and then you can also make it as wide as you need um, you can just size it as needed so that works out really well Okay, so now from here, if I want to add anything else, I can actually um, create a clipping mask. So let's just take this background image and copy it. And then I'm gonna move that copy up above the layer. So this is just to show you how to use a clipping mask. So let's pretend that this background copy is actually like a picture of your website or your Instagram account that you have on here. I'm gonna right click and I'm going to create a clipping mask and then this image fits nicely within that and I'm actually going to just move it around so you can see that you have an image within an image and the way we were able to do that was by creating that layer and then creating a clipping mask so I hope this helps you it's a lot of fun to play around with this obviously if you have a your own picture or you have a copy of your website it's going to look a lot better than just an extra copy of the picture on the screen but it works and i hope this tutorial helps you